Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me on this wonderful new video on the laboratory <laughs> And I know what you're thinking the laboratory what the hell are you doing? But this laboratory video is for those it's for the new guys that just started playing clash and Believe it or not This is one of the areas that people have a hard time with because they don't understand the importance of the lab and th the whole point of this video is to is to emphasize how important it is to keep a troop going in the lab the entire time uh, On the screen. Yeah, this is uh, some footage from the website that we have and It's not to brag about the awesome website. We have although. Thank you for that uh, but really what it is is This the the upgrades that are needed to be done in the laboratory should take priority over everything else it's important that your offense be stronger than your defense. That's a that's a very important thing that you want to try to make sure you maintain the entire time you play. As soon as you upgrade to a new town hall, you want to get those troops going immediately. You want to upgrade your laboratory and get a troop in the lab at, immediately. And what you'll want to do is you, you're going to not just put a troop in the lab and then go out there and lollygag until that troop's done and then say, Oh, I want to do this one next. Let's go make the money for it. No, you, you're going to literally pick the next two or three troops that you want to do in the lab and you actually want to plan it all out and have a little schedule made for yourself. Talk about sucking the life out of something fun, making a schedule. But if you want to be successful at this, you really want to plan ahead. And let's say if you're going to be doing, uh, just for example, the archer first and your next troop is going to be the barbarian. Look at the barbarian. How much is it going to want to take to do it? That's what you need to have ready the moment that the archer comes out. So you really you don't want to have not even one minute of spare time in the laboratory. It, it should never sit idle. That's the it, it's a it's a main priority as you're upgrading your base is to keep the laboratory full at all times. That's how you maintain your offense to be stronger than your defense because you'll be able to keep on upgrading these defenses and upgrading these defenses, but you can only do one troop at a time. So make sure that you always have a troop going in the lab. Now, what I would suggest is if you're a war-focused player, pick your attack. If you want to do the Goho, for example, um, make sure that the Golem is the first thing you do. It has several upgrades. It, they're wicked expensive. You want to plan for that and try to get the Dark Elixir made for it before the next upgrade is due. And that way, as soon as it's done, you'll have the money for the next one. You'll put the next one in there and you don't have any downtime at all. You want to make sure that you know what you need and you want to make sure that that's what you're going out and getting uh, If you need dark elixir, you're gonna, you're gonna have to build armies that have very little dark elixir for it If you're gonna go after just elixir, well, I suggest you always go after dark elixir. You're gonna get the elixir anyway But uh, the, my, the point is make sure you always have a troop going in in the laboratory don't give easy a heart attack and I look at your base You don't have anything going in the lab and you're asking me for help What do I do easy and I look at the lab and sitting there idle and meanwhile you you have all level two troops Because what I want to do is go get a drink. Don't make me drink You don't want to make me do that Keep every, keep something going in the lab at all times guys Okay, next video is coming out right after this. So stay tuned till next time. It's been easy. Take care